So, Councillor Magni, 45 delegations, a six-hour meeting, came down to this, a 10 to 1 vote in favour of the new Aquatic Centre and Family Recreation Facility. How do you feel about that? Relieved. Uh, this was a great decision Council made today, and uh, I am definitely uh, very privileged and honoured to be a part of that decision. Uh, we essentially today laid the future ground, the groundwork for future prosperity and growth in our region. We are definitely on route to being one of the best places to live, invest and raise a family and making it more of an attractive city uh, that will foster more of that growth that we desperately need. In your comments at Council, you describe the project as one of the most important municipal projects in our lifetime. Do you really believe that? I absolutely do. And the reasons why is this will foster a healthy lifestyle, healthy living, health promotion. We need to be a healthy community, a healthy workforce that makes us more competitive. That's one aspect of things. We're a smart community. We're investing in more innovation and technology and academic uh, programs. The library is a key centerpiece to that. Uh, having a more modernized facility that will foster uh, a, an educational, a literacy and creative writing aspect of things while allowing us to be high tech, environmentally friendly, that is, also, that is all a combination that will make us a very, very attractive city uh, for investment uh, for families to come here and raise a, a and open a business and so on or, or more students to come to Windsor it's more of an attractive place with our downtown campuses encompassed by a library and potentially uh, art gallery partnerships uh, this is a cluster that would be one of a one of a kind in probably Ontario if not uh, uh, North America yeah the library piece um I, I know Council had uh, a decision on that tonight, but there still is the, the library board that could be cons considered in all this. When are you guys going to talk about this? Absolutely. So uh, essentially what happened today is Council made a recommendation and an invitation to us uh, asking uh, the library uh, to join this facility. I, as chair of the library board, think it's an amazing opportunity for us to seize upon. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, we will be taking to the library board. So next up is the library uh, board receives the report from city council here with the recommendations. We'll take that to our administration, uh, have them make uh, some feedback and uh, a recommendation, and uh, we'll turn that around immediately and take it to the public, call a library board meeting, invite the public for, uh, for their questions, concerns, comments, and feedback, and um, we'll hopefully try to turn that around within the next seven to ten days. Seven to ten days, wow. Um, so as expected, Councillor uh, Halberstadt, uh, your neighbor to your right, was the only councillor to vote against this motion. What are your thoughts on that? I think this councillor has uh, made it uh, made a career on opposing uh, the majority of council, being the kind of lone ranger when it comes to uh, these types of things. Uh, I truly believe his comments that uh, he doesn't care who votes for him and who doesn't anymore are probably not uh, uh, the most appropriate, probably not the really in the interest of this community. Uh, I definitely care how people vote, uh, either whether it's for me or for my colleagues, uh, because we're all in this together. This is a collective pro uh, project that is for the future prosperity of our region. And um, he played politics on this one, and it was at the cost of, uh, uh, of the community. But uh, it was a 10 to 1. The mayor voted as well. So uh, we have a clear majority, a clear mandate, and uh, this is something that's very exciting. We'll continue to embark on it and move forward. What about Councilor Halberstadt's contention that uh, the public consultations, they, they had no point that we haven't listened to the people we've consulted with. I don't accept that. I don't think that's true. Now, can, I, can, I, can we agree that the consultations could have been much better? Absolutely. There's a lot more room for improvement. This was a real learning lesson when it comes to uh, public consultation. Uh, council effectively was very excited. The community was very excited about, uh, about uh, this new project. There was a lot of buzz and a lot of hype to it. And then we went into consultation process. So the folks who were somewhat opposed to it felt that, you know, you guys are really excited about this. You know, are you sure you're listening to us? And there was a bit of that stigma that uh, was attached to, to that we weren't listening. But uh, I can speak for myself and some of my colleagues that um, uh, I truly believe that we did factor in a lot of those concerns and I think that they were accurately and professionally reflected in this report and if anything we aired a lot of those grievances tonight in this council chamber where we heard from the uh, some of the most qualified experts on social development and how uh, this will impact social development in our community and society and I think this council I believe this council came to the correct conclusion making uh, this significant and strategic investment and doing it in a timely fashion which will foster social and economic development for our community. And I think the future prosperity of our region is going to be very well served. Congratulations, Councillor. Thank you, sir.